Huh. Hidden pornographic scene viewable by pressing up, up, down, down, left. Huh. Horny gamers believe anything. Support and disruption are two concepts fit for Valentine. Most of her variants and set, rather than being intended for direct damage, are often based around keeping her teammates alive or to prevent the opponent from using their toolbox, be it with stun or meter reduction. She can hit hard with moves like Counter Venom, and the recently buffed Checkmate Incision and Laryngectonomy have bleeding effects. However, her low base attack is what impedes her from sweeping all by herself most of the time. That's why she has to rely on the variant's signature abilities to work at her most effective. Both of her marquees are extremely useful. ICU is excellent for both offense and defense, providing great recovery against debuffs, while Trauma Center focuses more on supporting teammates, granting final stand should they lose 10% health on a single hit. The rule of thumb is that Bronze Silver's desired Trauma Center, where Golds and Diamonds won ICU, with exceptions on each side. Scrub is a very below average support, based on healing faster scratch damage. A feature which isn't really all that useful, since you'd be far better off gaining regeneration stacks. Luckily she has a redeeming quality, as thanks to Fuqua's character ability in all of her health bar being scratch damage, she would recover all of her health very fast. That's what I'd say if it wasn't for Fuqua's moves at having healing tools, in turn making this niche used, and her healing on tagging would be actually good if it applied to everyone, not just herself. I can't believe you've done this. Icy Hot, on the other hand, is the ideal beginner support, granting a stack of regeneration and 15% meter on tag in. It is an incredibly basic ability, meaning she will fall off the moment the player gains better health supports. Her positives lie on her low cost and due to how Trauma Center works with regen. Basically, if you were to take a hit that would trigger Trauma Center and you were both below 10% and benefiting from regeneration, another final stand would be applied instead of the character dying. So having that bizarre yet useful property plus being economical isn't too bad. Turn off pain with Icy Hot Smart Relief. Graveyard Shift is often underrated due to her seemingly weak ability and very low attack, but has several positives that overcome these weaknesses. The regeneration on kill being applied to any teammate is great to keep health scores in rifts, and it's comparably faster to surge in general. Outside of that, when using her on offense, she's capable of cursing heal block. You do need a regen stack, but that can be sped up by equipping a taunt. Worth investing on early game, and worth keeping for late game. I'm seeing fucking dots, is that normal? On the early game, Kirojoy is a great offensive support, but later on she rather assumes a more defensive role. On death, she'll revive all of her teammates, which is really useful for the players that struggle early on. And to have variants like Immoral Fiber activate her effect once more. But like most defenders, she's weak to hex and precision. Additionally, most people will bring outtake just to kill her first, since she'll obviously be on the further back of the team. She may still prove annoying to some people as a decent time waster, but she's easily figured out. It hung on by the skin of its teeth! Oh My is a rare variant that can only be pulled from Daily Relics, and nowhere else. Is she worth the rarity? Not really. You do need to get a kill with her to gain enrages and precision. Granted, counter venoms mixed with precision is a great combination, but you must make the blows count and be conservative with hits, running stuff like more to a drop to keep the stack safe. She can work on a few instances for sure, but she's only really desirable for her rarity and not much else. They should write about you in Laffy Taffy rappers, cause you're a f joke, bro. I'm gonna eat your bones. How about you bite my ass? Two stars! Last Hope is the basic example of a stall machine. She possesses instant revival with 50% health, plus very high base health to boot, making her a difficult to take down defend, especially paired with IC. However, as the game evolved and more options were made available, her proficiency has been lower overall, and with a good set she can simply be brute forced, with little issue. Still, I'd say she's worth investing as a mid to late game defender for her high survivability. Oh, what are you gonna do now, big boy? Originally, Silent Kill used to be considered a weak variant due to the metagame not being fit for her. Now she's a prime buff and debuff remover for Rift Battles, capable of taking care of stuff like Grudge Pain Wheels, Final Fight, Blue Screen and Block Post. Her weakness is that her base attack is decent but not very high, so she'll require considerable attack investment. But the payoff is very worth it due to how versatile her ability is and her outstanding synchrony with ICU. <laughs> 
Pyrotechnic feels like a redundant variant, capable of inflicting wither on charge attack. I say it's redundant because Valentin already has mirror removal equipped on her kit, which is currently bugged at the moment of making this video. She can gain enrages out of the pity of blockbusters, which would be where the wither outshines the mirror removal. Unfortunately, having the same stats as Silent Kill and a situational ability end up making Pyro a pretty weak option to consider. Boring. A variant that needs no introduction, Surgeon General easily tops everyone as the perennial best support in the game, and one of the best variants period. Standalone, immunity and regeneration are desirable buffs for anyone to get, but combined it becomes a match made in heaven, shutting down the vast majority of debuff based defenders. Paired with the Trauma Center Marquee, she achieves a notoriously must-have degree of support. She also has the added bonus of gaining permanent enrage, but it should be considered more as a side feature and a high attack last resort. So if you get your hands on Surgeon General, you do yourself a great favor by investing on her. Now that is ass. Assassin's Grid punishes the use of blockbusters, not only by dealing damage and inflicting bleed, but also by healing near to bleeding opponents. This, coupled with ICU, makes her a variant with exceptional recovery capability. But, much like any defender, she has her weaknesses. Heal block and inverse flurry, negating and using the healing against her, are great counters. Then there's the usual hex, and the easiest solution of them all is just to rely on special moves, since those go unpunished. This may sound like a lot of negatives, but make no mistake for Assassin's Creed is a very proficient defender despite these. She will cost most players a fair share of health points in rifts, and her recovery is much harder to go around in high street price fights. Great stuff all around. Don't fucking do that! Trash Sheik comes equipped with both protection tools from Barrier to Thorns and debuffs to destroy opponent defenses, with death mark, armor break, and bleed. Success with Threshik comes down to field control in order to obtain the most desirable attributes, and a high enough crit rate to have better odds at inflicting debuffs. Her strength, further increased by stuff like Deathmark, is noticeable, and she'll hit hard and tactically dispose of the opponent all at once. All around, a very complete jack of all traits and highly desirable. Who the fuck? Who is this? What? I should kick your fucking ass. Who is this? Slip my throat? Ugh. One star!